It might be the official SUV of the Queen of England, but I haven't had to worry about her since 1776. So let's get to it. It's time for a Sunday rant. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. It's Mark, your Sunday host, your Range Rover host, I should say. And uh, <laughs> it is time for a Sunday rant. What's on my mind this week? Well, you know, nothing that big, but I'll tell you what, this really bothered me this week, and let's see if you've seen this before. So I'm parked in my spot, okay, and who comes around the corner? Billy Big Rigger's coming down the aisle. You know this guy. Freightliner Classic XL, pretty sweet, right, if this was 1998. <laughs> There's a spot down the aisle, I could see it down there, on his passenger side, because it's coming at me, and I thought, okay, that's probably not his spot because he's not set up for it. He's driving on the middle of the lane. Well, it turns out it was his spot. So he pulls up and tries to blindside that spot in. Not happening. All right. Now, where are you going with this, Mark? Hang on. So what does he do? He tries that a couple times. I'm sitting there. I thought, oh, this is going to be pretty entertaining. So he comes back out and pulls over to my side, right, his driver's side, and goes to do what? A U-turn in the aisle. That's right. A U-turn in the aisle. Now, here's the thing. I thought, I wonder how wide this aisle really is. All right. So what I did when I pulled out of my spot, I pulled all the way forward with the trailer. The nose of my truck was just about touching the trailer on the other side, you know, on the aisle facing me when my trailer cleared that trailer. I walked back there to see. So we have like a 70 foot wide aisle here. All right. So he's turning. He turns. This aggravates me. Believe me. And it should aggravate you. He turns, of course, can't make the U-turn, duh. All right, back up, pull up, back up, pull up, back. By the time he gets turned around, by the way, you can go to the end of the aisle and turn around. All right? Or you can go all the way around. You can come back around. There's millions of ways to do this besides this way. He does this U-turn, he's 90 degrees or more. And I thought, man, this guy is going to rip his wings off his truck. Well, when I went past him then, there were no wings on the truck. He's probably already taken them off at some other dock somewhere. Either way, why does this aggravate me? It stretches the hoses out on the tractor. Okay, and it pulls on the light cord plug in the trailer. It ruins all that stuff. Really, it ruins the tires, too. You shouldn't be doing that. You know, I'm more than 90-degree turn. Then you get a truck. Now, I assume nobody would get his truck because, it, you know, it was past its prime. It could probably already vote, uh, much less anything else. But company drivers that do this or people that switch trucks that stretches the hoses out to crap and then you can always tell when somebody's done this because their hoses are hanging along the uh frame rails or whatever on the catwalk and it's either that or they forgot to unhook them but that's how they get all stretched out it ruins the equipment as an owner operator he shouldn't be doing that it ruins his owner his own equipment believe me no company is putting that kind of truck on the road still that kind of thing bothers me He's trying to save time, and in saving time, he wastes time because it, and blocks the aisle off. There's a spotter wait, which I didn't see until he got out of the way. There's some spotter waiting, probably thinking what I'm thinking. This guy's a moron, right, waiting. And he gets down there, and it still took him, you know, a number of tries to get in that spot because he still wasn't set up right. Look, it's a problem. Don't try to save time, you know, and ruin equipment or whatever, and it wasn't really any time saving. Just do the safe thing the best thing for the equipment and go around turn around and come back it's so simple it's so simple that kind of, that little thing kind of thing bothers me because i know eventually that kind of thing you know some drivers and them do oh go take this truck today you know and the hose wow why is the hose 27 feet long you know oh uh, well you know it doesn't even have any coil in it. it's just a straight you know it's, it's a straight hose all the way oh well, that's just uh you know joe schmo he just doesn't know what he's doing you know that kind of thing that kind of thing just bothers me. It's just a small thing, it seems like, but it really bothers me seeing that kind of thing happening uh, in the industry. It really does. So don't do that. Do not stretch out your hoses, all right? So that's it for today. That's our Sunday rant. Uh, by the way, there's a live show Monday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. I hope everybody changed their clocks. If not, uh, you're watching this show an hour later. So uh, otherwise, <laughs> we'll see you Monday. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with another video.